Hello everyone, this is Maritime Studies channel on YouTube and in this video we will continue talking about Marple Convention Annex 1. In last video, if you remember, I will keep the link also here, we talked about first five regulations of Marple Annex 1. So in this video, we will continue by um, regulation 6 of Annex 1. Uh, just before starting regulation 6, one more time I want to request you please subscribe my channel using this red subscribe button below the video and also hit the bell to see my newest video in the next weeks. Also one more request, please give me comment and tell me about your ideas, tell me about your suggestions and whatever, whatever it is you can tell me in the comments, sure I will read and I will reply. It will be very helpful for me. Okay, let's go to Annex 1, Regulation 6. In Regulation 6 of Annex 1, we are talking about surveys. And it says that all tankers more than 150 tons GRT and all other vessels more than 400 tons GRT are subject to be surveyed on the requirement of this annex. And it says that uh, initial surveys shall be carried out before the ship put in the service as per requirement of this annex. Then it's talking about renewal survey and it says that renewal survey shall be carried out each five years actually shall not exceed more than five years. Better I tell like this. After a renewal survey in regulation six, we are talking about intermediate surveys and it says that intermediate survey as per requirement of this annex shall be carried out within three months uh, before or after second or third anniversary date of IOPP certificate. After intermediate survey in regulation 6, we are talking about annual survey and it says that on each year within three months before or after of uh, IOPP certificate anniversary date, one annual survey shall be carried out. Okay, now it's a good time. Better I give you one definition for anniversary date also. Uh, the best definition which you can find for anniversary date is in Annex 1, Regulation 1, Part 27. In Annex 1, Regulation 1, Part 27, uh, we are talking about definition of anniversary date. I will keep it here. Please read it precisely. It says that the anniversary date is the day and the month of IOPP expiry date, which is mentioned on IOPP certificate. It's clear. But anyway, don't mix it. At the end of this video, I will show you some samples for IOPP certificate. At that time, I will tell you exactly what it is. And I will show you more details about IOPP certificate. Okay, uh, we talked about regulation 6. In regulation 6 of Annex 1, we talked about tonnage requirement. Uh, 150 tons GRT for tankers, 400 tons GRT for other vessels, vessels other than tankers. We talked about the surveys which is required on this annex. Uh, um, um, initial survey, renewal survey, intermediate survey, annual survey. Um, also, we should talk about additional survey. At the end of this, uh, at the end parts of this regulation, we are talking about additional survey also, and it says that additional survey will be required under requirement of this annex on special cases, for example, major repairs. Okay, that is enough. I think that is enough for regulation six. Let's go to regulation seven, annex one. In regulation 7, we are talking about issue or endorsement of certificate. And it says that the IOPP certificate will be issued by administration or 
an authorized authority approved by administration after an initial survey or renewal survey. And in any case, administration will be responsible for this certificate. And Regulation 8 of Annex 1 talking about issue or endorsement of IOPP certificate by another government. And it says, cause a ship to be surveyed, the administration which is party to the convention can ask from other administration to issue the IOPP certificate. If you remember, we talked about this kind of issues in one video. I will keep the link there. You can watch it again. And so remember regarding Regulation 8 that IOPP certificate can be issued by another flag state. But that flag also shall be party to the Convention of Marpol. Regulation 9, Annex 1 is form of certificate. And it says that you can find the approved format of IOPP certificate in Appendix 2 of Annex 1. Also remember that IOPP certificate carry with itself two supplements, Form A and Form B. Form B for tankers and Form A for vessels other than tankers. Okay, Regulation 10. Regulation 10 of Annex 1 talking about duration and validity of certificate. Just summarizely, I want to tell you that the validity of IOPP certificate shall not exceed more than five years. You see what I am telling? I'm not telling five years. I am telling shall not exceed more than five years because here says that administration in some cases can issue their certificate even with less validity date. Validity period even less than five years. Uh, but uh, something we should know that in Regulation 10, there is a specific details of different cases regarding issuing of IOPP certificate. So it is highly recommended for the ship's masters to read Regulation 10. Again, I repeat, Regulation 10 of Annex 1 precisely and completely. The details of this regulation is very necessary for any ship's master to be understood. Okay, now we will check together some IOPP certificate uh, and uh, we will talk again about the details of regulations 7, 8, 9, 10 of Annex 1 on the certificates. Okay, let's talk about some uh, IUPP certificates. You can see here, this is a good example, International Oil Pollution Prevention Certificate. As you can see here, it is issued under the uh, requirement of Annex 1, Marple Annex 1. You see this vessel is under flag of Netherlands. But it is issued by the Classification Society of DMVGL. So what you remember, this is Regulation 6. Remember in Regulation 6, which says that the IUPP certificate shall be issued by the administration, means the Netherlands, or an authorized authority approved by the flag state, means classification society here. But I will show you next that uh, this authorized authority is not always classification society. Yes, I'm angry. Most of the time is classification society, but not always. You see here a uh, vessel under flag of Netherlands and issued by the DMVGL. Other important thing I want to show you here. You see type of the ship, oil tanker. So when it is oil tanker, when it is any vessel other than oil tanker, which is here vessel other than oil tanker, shall we carry supplements? For the oil tanker, this certificate shall be attached with uh, Form B and for other vessels, 
shall be attached same as this filter this vessel this certificate shall be attached by form a so we talked about this uh, things another important thing i want to show you uh, about the anniversary date you see here this is the certificate validity date it says that this certificate is valid until the until 31st august 2022 subject to survey in accordance with regulation 6 of annex 1 of the convention we talked about the surveys remember everything in this regulation is as per the anniversary date so identification of the anniversary date is very important for us as per the regulation one part to seven of annex one i told you that the anniversary date is the day and month of expiry date of iopp certificate so this is the anniversary date 31st of august of each year so you will see also you see it is mentioned here also in all IPP certificate that the day you can read it here also i cannot make highlight but just we can read together the day and the month of this date correspond to the anniversary date as defined in regulation one part two seven of annex one so you see it is written here also in all IPP certificate it is here because this is the format which is defined as per regulation nine of annex one so all these timings for the endorsement of certificate will be will be as per the uh, this anniversary date okay something more i want to show you okay you see this vessel this vessel is under flag of us this is another IPP certificate under flag of US and it is issued by the USCG. Just I wanted to show you as an example that don't think that as per regulation 6 that when you are telling authorized authority approved by the <coughs> sorry united by the flag state is not always classification society. As you can see here vessel under US flag an IPP certificate is issued by the USCG, United States Coast Guard. And uh, that is enough, I think. Okay, let's I show you here also again one more time. You see here, the expiry date is 8th January 2026. So 8th January will be anniversary date. And you will see that annual survey also is done as per that. As per that here also written regulation 6 of annex 1 which we talked about it here and it says in regulation 6 that annual survey shall be done within three months before or after anniversary date of certificate which is here 17 november okay thank you that is enough also don't forget about the form a you see here, this is a form A. Oh my God, come up. This is one form A. I want to show you just as an example. Here, what it is. This is record of construction and equipment for the ships other than oil tanker. And this is one, uh, one uh, form B. And what it is. It is record of construction equipment for oil tankers so you saw this too also that is enough okay let's come back to the video in regulation 11 we are talking about port state control on operational requirement and it says that every vessel will be subject to be inspected by the Port State Control Officers, where there is any clear ground that the master and the crew are not familiar with the procedures relating to the prevention of pollution by oil. It's very clear. In Regulation 11 of Annex 1, we are talking about Port State Control. 
uh, something important in this regulation means regulation 11 introduces one very important resolution resolution a105227 a105227 this resolution called procedures for port state control i will keep this resolution inside my telegram channel you can take it print it and read it it is very very useful resolution for facing with port state control in all over the world okay i think that's enough for this video in this video we talked about regulation uh, regulations 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 of annex 1 of marple convention thank you for watching me and one more time i request you please subscribe my channel using the red subscribe button below the video and also don't forget to hit the bell to see my newest video in the next week and also i request for your comments don't forget about the giving me the comment thank you everybody